Mm -hmm. um, so this is uh, the the more kind of graded version of uh, the number of doors or number of windows. It would take the way I've done it is that you take all the family instances um, and rooms as well, and uh, then you renumber them by spline. So it's the super typical workflow that we've all done in the past, like to do this sort of thing. You have the spline and you want to then go ahead and renumber all the doors. In this case, they've already been numbered correctly and they're like B and A and whatever. But if you are doing it from scratch, this would be the process, right? The direction of the spline matters. So this is the start, this is the end, and this would uh, that's where the counter will start from. So with that set up, you can renumber elements by spline. And let's try it with, so this is the drop down that you, gives you the option. And um, maybe here we might need more categories or less. We could restrict some of those that would never be used. Masses, for example, we didn't number masses. Maybe there's a um, parking certainly would be handy, planting. Technically, not balusters. Thankfully, not balusters, right? Especially yeah. as curtain panels. Yeah, curtain panels will. Okay, curtain panels. Detail items, would you? Um, can you imagine? But, yeah. Um, yeah, so maybe we restrict some of those, but yeah. Um, okay, let's try it with rooms, for example. You select the room, and then um, I needed to do it as a two-step process because now that you've selected the room, I'm picking only the text parameters that I can um, populate information in. Otherwise, I wouldn't have known for this particular category what the, pro uh, what the yeah, instance parameters are. So for a room, I want to use the number and I left a prefix. So room, and I can be room, maybe R01. This is the first floor, room 01. That could be the way to do it. And then you have leading zero. So maybe two or three digits, whatever you want. Then select, it would expect you to select the spline first. And then you have a filter, so you, you should be easily selecting the rooms themselves and R01, R02, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6, 7, and, and so on. So it's the same thing. We can do it for doors equally. So doors and select the, to the mark value. It will be DR01, for example. Let's do three leading zeros if we want. Again the spline first and then the filter would focus on the doors and 38 doors were numbered here we go the door 01 001 002 and three and four and so on so that's that's really it 